it's always one. Ah, it's always one. Steady. Oh, steady. Cold Sunday morning. December. I don't know what date is? Six, I think. Pot noodle from Sunday dinner. Don't really want to be here today. Crap in it. Hello, welcome back to the Battle Lounge. In this video, I'm gonna give a little bit of an update and I'm gonna move this sink to here. Just a quick bit of the update first. So what we've done is we've started putting the flooring down. It's looking fantastic, I love that. It's great flooring. I've never done it before, so it's another first for me. A Little bit of a learning curve. They're not too bad. They're level, but some of them the gaps are not quite lining up, and I swear to God, the tiles are different sizes, but <laughs> I don't know. Um, but it's good enough for me. And at the moment, uh, I've spent about 500 quid on these tiles, uh, and then there was some other bits and pieces that I bought, so about 600 pound altogether with the adhesive. So far, <clears throat> I will have to buy some more adhesive. I've got enough tiles, I'm sure I've got enough tiles, probably got too many. Uh, but I do need some more adhesive. I've worked out I probably need another two bags, I only another 20 quid. Um, so although it's not perfect, it's really good. And for this space, it's, it's, it's ideal for me really. I'm going to be more than happy with it. Uh, the alternative would be to get somebody to lay it and then instead of costing 600 quid, oh, God knows how much, probably 6,000 I expect. But yeah, it's going well. I've got about a third of it done so far, which is basically this area in shot. There's a little bit more over there that we've done. But in order to do the rest of it, I've got to move all the stuff from around here and move it over this side. And one of the things is this sink. And this is why I built the, the temporary sink in the first place. As you can see, it's just, uh, it's just a CLS frame. This sink actually built in, it's got its own um, depth to it if you like so it's not an undermount sink and it's not a surface mount sink it's a standalone sink so traditionally these would be put in line with the worktop I guess or if they're you know an industrial sort of situation they might be on some steel legs or something like that uh, but that was ideal we, I don't even know where it came from I think it was in here in the when this place was a chip shop it was just kicking around so I've decided to just use it for now as a temporary sink and I've and so I screwed this CLS framework, uh, stuck it on the top, and then temporarily connected all the pipes up so that we've got a working sink. But now it's in the way because we're going to have to tile up to this end. So now we've got the tiles down over here, I can temporarily move it over here so we can finish the tiling. And that's what I'm going to do today. I fitted my first sink about 20 years ago when I set up my first laboratory. Didn't have a clue what I was doing, was a little bit overwhelmed by the idea of fitting a sink. It's actually not that difficult at all. It's, it's dead easy. The, the most difficult thing that you need to consider is getting rid of the water. It's the, it's the waste water, which is the big pipe. It takes all the water away rather than the little pipes that bring <coughs> you know, the cold water, the hot water feed. They're actually really easy because you can go up and down and round and through walls and go wherever you want. But with the waste water, this is always a consideration. So where's the nearest drain? And how do you get the water there? Because you can't flow uphill. There's always got to be some sort of gradient drop so that the water will always flow away. If you, if you don't, if you have a little dip in the pipe, the water will sit in there and that will cause blockages and things like that. So the, the pipe's got to be set completely flat, um, as in it's not got any curves or bends in it. And it's always got to be set at a gradient. You can't have too steep a gradient, but you can have a too shallow a gradient. When it gets too shallow, as I say, you'll, you'll get the water stopping, blocking up. Fortunately, I thought ahead and put the pipe work in here, ready to get the water away. So all it is, is a case of just 
disconnecting the pipes this side, moving it over and reconnecting them back up. So I'm going to do that now. So you can see with that I've just got two colds connected up to the tap. So this is just a cold water tap. I've connected both of them because if I, uh, if I just add one and we turn the tap on, as soon as you change it to the mixer side, or it's in the middle, you get the water flow up and back down and out the other side. So I've just connected them both up for now. And then the waste for the dishwasher is up there. Okay, so the water feed for this is down here. This pipe is just push fit. So we undo the, th the thread, squeeze it in and unlock it. And this pipe, this is a compression fit in. On this trap, so we just undo that. Again, I'll just leave everything connected up to the sink at this point. And that's it, it's disconnected. Okay, so I've moved the sink over, just put it up against the wall, chopped my pipe down, solvent welded the 90 on there, and put it back into the trap. Um, all I've got to do now is just connect those back up. Uh, so where I've shut the water off down here, I've run this other bit of pipe here, which goes all the way under and pops over up in that corner. So it goes under the floor. And this end I'm just putting a tap on to turn it off. And then we can put this back on. And if I've done it properly, I shouldn't have any leaks coming out. You need to check it. <laughs> See, when you do this sort of stuff, you need to make sure that you flush all the water through, just in case you've got any little bits in there when you're putting it together. If you're careful, obviously you shouldn't off, but it's a good precaution. Got the water flowing away nicely. And I've just got to get my utilities back in. Dishwasher and the fridge, that's it. It's all set up. So that's my latest update. Um, as you can see, making a start on the floor, which is really good. Um, we still haven't got the, the boiler working yet. That's not been set up properly. We've, we've moved it from one place to another. I've got all the pipe works in, but it all needs connecting up and, and firing up, which hopefully, hopefully we'll start on that Monday next week. Now I've got this done, I'm going to just move everything else across so all the rest of the floor will be free for me to, to carry on with the tiling, crack on and hopefully get that done within the next um, week or two at the very least. I put that in yesterday, that's a new, a new light. I wasn't sure what I was going to do, how I was going to have the stairs and whether I was going to match in. So originally I was going to have for three of these cages each side, but I didn't really like the idea of that symmetry. And I've opted to go for that. Just one light, which is a coloured light instead of the bulbs. And it's got a, la a glass lampshade, which I thought would look quite nice when it's in a colour. So it lights up quite nicely depending on what colour it is, so I, I like that. Really nice, really nice lampshade, fits in well with the aesthetic and it mirrors this side in the sense that I've used the same wire and connection types etc, so that's good. Yeah, I've put these, these lamps in over here, they're adjustable. So that I can I can 
change them up a little bit if I want to. Again, they've got the coloured bulbs in. And I've got all these electrics in. They're all live now, um, except for the lighting wire, which this isn't connected up yet, which is why I've still got a few loose dangly wires. They're not live, they're just, um, they're just there ready to go in. So when I put my wall units up, I can have a light going up above the wall units and then another one going along. So I've got some down lighters coming down from the wall units to light up the worktop. Yeah, that's it. I hope you like this little update video and like and subscribe and all that malarkey and we'll, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers matey girls.